We signed MOUs worth 3,000 crores across all our group businesses. So we will be investing in textiles, in engineering and real estate. These are the areas where we invest always in Gujarat. And, you know, we are continuing to make uh, strong investments across these businesses. But a lot of experts and economists have spoken of how India must actually take the next leap forward in terms of value-added manufacturing, focus more on R&D, design, engineering. Uh, and developing human capital as opposed to merely focusing on making alone. Uh, do you feel that by not doing that and by focusing so much on making, we may be missing out on advantage in the China plus one, on the China plus, plus one policy? No, you're very right that we do need to get into some more technology and R&D oriented manufacturing. But I would again say that the main challenge for India is how do we get people out of agriculture and into manufacturing. Mm. And therefore, <clears throat> Manufacturing even of products like apparel, footwear are very critical right. because the kind of jobs these industries can create, mm -hmm. it will be very difficult for very high value added industries to create the same quantum of jobs. Mm -hmm. So I would actually say that as the world looks at diversifying from China, mm -hmm. this is the time for India to step up. Mm -hmm. India has 5% of you know the global textile and apparel trade. Mm -hmm. And if we kind of take it from 5 to 10%, we're talking about adding almost 50 billion dollars. Green hydrogen.